Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss an important concept in complex analysis and uh, the concept is uh, how to find the period of uh, e raised to z uh, where z is a complex number, right? So let us see uh, the periodicity of uh, the function e raised to z uh, where z is a complex number and let us denote uh, the function e raised to z by f of z and here uh, this z is a complex number and let us take z as x plus iota y where x and y belongs to the set of real numbers so x is the real part of z and y is the imaginary part of uh, z Right. So let us see how we can uh, find out the periodicity of uh, e raised to z uh, using uh, the famous Euler's theorem uh, which says that e raised to i alpha is equal to uh, cos alpha plus uh, iota times sine alpha where this alpha is uh, either a real number or it is a complex number right so let us start so let us quickly see the definition of a periodic function now see a function f of x is said to be a periodic function of x if there exists a positive real number uh, t uh, such that f of x plus t is equal to uh, f of x Right? And the smallest value of t is uh, known as the period of this function f of x. Right? Okay. Now uh, let us uh, replace the, this z by uh, x plus iota y. So we can now write f of z is equal to e raised to z that is equal to e raised to x plus iota y. Now see the exponential function uh, follows the uh, rules of uh, exponents so we can uh, we can write e raised to a times e raised to b is equal to e raised to a plus b so here uh, we can uh, write e raised to x plus iota y as e raised to x times e raised to uh, iota y right now uh, using uh, Euler's theorem uh, we can now write e raised to iota y as uh, we can write cos of y plus i times sine of uh, y right so what we have done here we have replaced this z by x plus iota y and then by using uh, the rules of exponent that is e raised to a times e raised to b is e raised to a plus b uh, we have written e raised to x times e raised to iota y and then uh, keeping uh, this e raised to x as such, uh, we write e raised to iota y as uh, cosine y plus i times uh, sine y. So now we know that uh, the period of uh, sine and cosine function is uh, 2 pi, right? So uh, whenever uh, sine y and cosine y are increased by uh, 2 pi or a multiple of uh, integral multiple of 2 pi then sine function and cosine function uh, uh, remains unchanged right so sine y and cosine y remain unchanged uh, when uh, y is increased by uh, 2 n pi where n is any integer that is positive or uh, negative right so we can uh, now write uh, cos of y as cos of uh, y plus 2n pi and sine of y can be written as sine of y plus 2n pi right so uh, cosine y remains unchanged when we add uh, 2n pi to y and similar is the case with the sine function uh, sine function remains the same when we add y at, uh, that is 2n pi to uh, y Right. So let us replace uh, here uh, cos y by uh, cos of y plus 2n pi and then i times sine of y plus 2n 
uh, y. Now uh, let us uh, again write uh, this expression uh, using uh, the Euler's uh, theorem. Right now here, if we take y plus two n pi as alpha, then uh, we can now write here a uh, cos of uh, alpha. Then we have i times sine of alpha. So here uh, we are taking alpha as y plus two n pi. So now uh, this is uh, equal to uh, e raised to i alpha using uh, this result. So now again uh, making use of uh, this result we can write e raised to x plus iota uh, times alpha and uh, then replacing this alpha by y plus 2n pi we can write y plus 2n pi. So this is e raised to x plus uh, iota times y plus 2n pi and here we have uh, iota. So now replacing x plus iota y uh, by z. So we can uh, now write uh, this function that is uh, f of z is equal to e raised to z is equal to e raised to z plus uh, 2n pi uh, times iota. So now let us uh, look at uh, this equation. So we have uh, f of z is equal to e raised to z is equal to e raised to z plus uh, 2n pi i, right? Now uh, in this function, if we replace this uh, z uh, by uh, z plus 2n pi i, then uh, from uh, this function, uh, we can also write z plus uh, 2n pi i is equal to e raised to z plus 2n pi i right and here uh, we can see that we have this expression e raised to z plus 2n pi i and here we have e raised to z plus 2n pi i so this expression can be replaced by f of z plus 2n pi i so we can now equate uh, these two uh, expressions so we have our functions f of z is equal to f of z plus 2n pi i right and here if we replace this n by 1 then we can write f of z is equal to f of z plus 2 pi i and uh, this suggests that uh, the period of the function f of z is given by uh, 2 pi i uh, using uh, this definition right because uh, see a function f of x is uh, uh, has a period t uh, if f of x is equal to f of x plus t so the period of uh, this function that is the uh, exponential function e raised to z which is f of z so t is uh, 2 pi uh, i right and from here uh, we can see that uh, whenever uh, z is a complex number then the period of e raised to z is also a complex number so the period of e raised to z where z is x plus iota y uh, is 2 pi uh, times i